Corbin Smith, you have a question for DJ? Hey, DJ, I know you were frustrated with that missed blitz pickup last week. How nice is it to go out there this weekend and get your first two NFL touchdowns to help your team get the big win? Uh, I kind of I, I credit that to, to the O-line and, and, and Shadi calling, dialing up the plays um, and us just executing. But, yeah, it felt, it felt good. I feel like I belong here, you know. Curtis Crabtree. Yeah, DJ, Pete gave you some praise for having to basically carry the entire load today and being able to step up and do so. What, what did it mean to you to have to take pretty much everything all day and have to keep going and, and be able to come through with the performance you did getting in the end zone a couple times? Uh, felt good. I, 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 felt, I felt comfortable in there. Um, I just trusted my coaching, really. And uh, just this is, this is probably the... the most prepared I've been just mentally and physically uh, this whole season. And not, not saying I don't prepare because I do, but this is, this is the most I've, I've felt. Adam Jude. Yeah, DJ, before your touchdown catch from, from Russ, it looked like maybe there was miscommunication or missed assignment there on the, on the play before. Can you take us through those, those couple plays sequence there? And it looked like maybe you went up to Russ on the sideline afterwards for a, a quick apology, maybe? Uh, just a missed check. That's all that was. Just, just a slight miscommunication on my behalf. John Boyle. Yeah, DJ, it looked like you had your first touchdown earlier in the game, and then they called it back. Just what's that process like? A thinking you scored your first NFL touchdown, they review it, they take it away, and then a little later you find the end zone. Uh, I was sick. I was sick about the first one. But uh, I had guys like DK and Russ telling me, like, it'll come back, like it's going to come back. And then it came back twofold. So, you know, that's how that happened. Ben Arthur. DJ, what impresses you the most about DK? And, and what's it like to see him, you know, we obviously see what he does on the field, like getting touchdowns and whatnot. But when you see guys like try and hit him and they just kind of fall off of him and they're the ones hurt and it's not him, what kind of goes through your head? Uh, I trained with DK in the offseason. Uh, I wasn't, I was just pre-draft training and then post-combine training. But uh, I trained with DK in the offseason and, and I just knew DK was was special just from watching him the the prior year and then training with him. So I'm not surprised that that uh, people look crazy trying to tackle DK because man, he he's a beast. He's a beast. So thank you, Art Till. All right, DJ, uh, how did this week go in practice in terms of um, knowing that you might be starting, and when did you learn that you would be starting? Uh, it was it was the same week. It was it was business as usual. Uh, just prepared the same way. Uh, went into meetings the same way. Uh, I really don't even remember when they said it. I guess it was like before game time. But uh, yeah, it was business as usual. Everything was everything was the same. I, I prepared the same way. I, I practiced the same way. So. so you didn't know until this morning. What was your biggest worry when you found out? Not worried at all. Uh, like I said, I prepared <laughs> the same way for, for what well, I think this is, what, week seven, week eight? So I, I've been preparing for this since training camp, you know? Maz Vita. Hey, DJ, so out of, out of the two uh, touchdowns you got, is there one that means more than the other, or are you just happy to get two touchdowns and feel like you belong in the NFL? Uh, it's not, it's not the, the fact of, I just want to be productive, honestly. Like this is, that's, that's me being productive. That's me helping the team. That's the O-line executing. That's Russ delivering how he, how he always does. So it's not just the one man show. It's, it's a, it's a 11 man effort or a 22 man effort. So yeah, I, I still feel like I belong here though. You know, last question for DJ Greg Bell. DJ, what'd you do with the ball you took after the first touchdown? It looked like, did you throw it back on the field? What, what did you do with it? And then why'd you just spin the ball on the real touchdown you got? Uh, I don't know, man. I was kind of not frustrated, but you know, the first one didn't count. So I was kind of mad that 
if they were talking trash and stuff. So I don't know, just playing ball, just just being an emotional player. Did you have to chuck the ball back onto the field to the officials oh, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't want that one. That one. That one didn't really mean <laughs> anything. But <laughs> just got to toss it back on the field. You spun the one that you scored on the uh, the first touchdown of the game. Did you get that one back? Oh, I have both of them actually. They're okay. both in the bag. So. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all have a nice night. Thank you, DJ.